ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the show. I'm very excited to show you what I'm about to show you in this video. And I have to say, a lot, a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work and time went into, uh, went into making this. And it wasn't just by me. Um, and shout out to, hang on, shout out to Noctwe. I did not want to butcher it, so <laughs> I had to check first. I had to make sure. Uh, and I'm gonna try to really just narrow down focus and get right to it because I got some flack. I got some flack for just kind of beating around the bush in, in the last one. Um, but okay, so here it is, here it is. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boom. I got, um, so lists. We're gonna have lists on lists, lists for days. Lists as far as the eye can see because I think they could be very helpful. Uh, I know for me, when I, when I first started, any list that was available um, just about who to uh, equip CTPs on um, or, or what type of obelisk to, to give to a certain character or just, you know, tier list, like what character is better than the other. They were so helpful um, for me. So, and even if you're not new, even if you're not new, these lists now, like, you know, especially like, you know, you know if you don't have the material materials to rank up every character, um, you just you don't know how they how they operate right unless somebody else tests them out and They give you give you some feedback or you know Yeah, just what kind of CTP works best for them or what game modes you can expect them to perform in Because um, you don't want to be led down the wrong path, right? You you think a character has a certain value you go ahead you tier 3 them you awaken them and you know You're like where's their damage? Um, what's going on here? And then not you know, then you feel like you just you just wasted you just wasted right all, all your time farming all those resources those materials put them in a character and then boom you're left you know just you're left disappointed so I have a a, a few lists here there, there there's four different actually there's five there's another one separate from this and this is is going to be available on uh, on my Discord and I have I, I want to say that. The list is, is subject to change. It's subject, su it's subject to change. Um, these lists will never be, you know, 100% uh, um, complete all, all of the time. Um, and so this is just, okay, so this list here, this list here is actually something special. So um, we have all the types, all the type rankings. We have Blast, Universal, Combat, and Speed. And we have all tier three and Awakened characters for each class. And not only that, but some of these other ones that I'm going to show you in just a moment, we have just all characters, right? All Awaken, all Tier 3. Um, I don't, I, I did not get to doing every single character, right? All the non-Tier 3, non awaken characters quite yet. That's something that will be coming in the future, along with some other ones that I'm going to talk about in just a moment. But let, let's talk about this list right here. Um, I'm not going to talk about uh, exactly why I put the characters where I did. Not in this video, maybe in a future one. This video is just going to show you exactly what's available and how it operates because there's a little more than the eye can can actually see uh, on this. So you know, just like some standard ones, you know, we have um, just some icons here that that are significant of of uh, of their value of what some of their value is. So we have right the light bulb is a leader. The little the little green gun is is you know damage character, and then we have a heart for support, and then uh, this just checkered flag here is um is some pvp value um now what else you'll see and and that's the thing some of these characters are only in their place because they have a support they have a support or a lead and in my opinion because i don't know i feel like you only use like so many characters right for different game modes like danger room extreme world boss legend you use like a handful i don't know five seven characters right you, you really only need like five damage dealers some of the teams that you bring in a world boss they're you know you, you use kind of like a combination you could use a combination of two right like a lead two characters or three i was doing three i was doing three care i think like two awaken and then one tier three character but um that's a really good method that that works very well i still use it i still use like like two characters for for damage um and then like one support but the support um in a lot of cases we'll put a character above other characters that may do better damage like you know if you're just comparing their damage but because they offer the support and you can bring them along with another character um that's going to push them to have you clear that stage you know i've been saying this for a while but i find that to be very very important like valkyrie here 
She's in the oh the tiers here. Leah, let's talk about the tiers. The the names of the tiers. Um, so Noctwe, he he helped me out with uh, with the names here. Um, I I was I was set on the the top tier being the God right. It's a God tier, but it's Godzillinator tier. Um, I thought that was pretty clever. And then the next tier, it's uh, it's the King Kong tier. Cause King Kong, I, I know all you you King Kong you know fans out there aren't gonna like my next statement, but he's just not as strong as Godzilla, right? Godzilla beats him 10 out of 10 times. I mean, the man just shoots. He shoots nuclear breath out of his mouth. You, you can't you can't you can't shake a stick at that. <laughs> Which is one of the te- which is the next tier? Well, not the very next, but the one after here. So we have Godzilla Nader tier, we have King Kong tier, we have not too shabby, and we have nothing to shake a stick at, right? And then we have at the bottom, it's a damn shame. Um, it was hot garbage, but we changed it to a damn shame. And these are subject to change too. If 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 somebody has a suggestion, right? If if I hear something or I just think of something that that fits better. Um, I could just go ahead, go in here, you know, boom, type a few letters, bada bing, bada boom, it's changed. So, um, it, you know, it, it's a, it's a masterpiece in the making. Um, it, and, and like I said, some of the characters might, they might swap places depending on, you know, just how, how I'm feeling about them. Um, and, and yeah, it was over here again. So you have Mystique, right? She's got, she's got the support. She's got support right there. That's why. That's why she. You don't use her for any damage, really. Not anymore. She was OP, but not really anymore. Okay. So enough about the the characters in the list. Let's talk about some of the function here. And this is actually what I'm really excited about. So um, it's only a couple characters at the moment. We have that you could actually you can click on their name, and it's going to take you to another page. So like, let's. I, I think I showed this in one of the previous ones, but if you click on Luke Cage here gonna take you right it's gonna show you show you his beautiful mug there right him, him just chilling in the suit and it's gonna it's gonna tell you his uniforms right like the, the best uniform and uh, and it's gonna have some alternate options there it's gonna tell you um, you know uh, CTP options what CTP you actually want to use for him um, ISO 8 set the best ISO 8 set for you know like PvP or PvE basically any information that we could put in here that's gonna be helpful for you right where you can actually use them um, and if they could be used for like ABX and what I actually found really really nice what I what I was quite fond of is that if you click on the link there you see Luke Cage PVE Luke Cage PVP video guide if you click on that it's gonna take you to one of my videos and it's gonna show you it's gonna show me you know demonstrating the character actually using them talking about them if you have you know if you're not quite sure right if you can't come in here see the rotation and say Okay, that's the rotation, and you're having a hard time with it. You can come back here, click on the link, take you to one of my videos, and you could actually see it in action, right? And then we got a section down here for a sneaky bandit note. So the sneaky bandit might come in here, and if he's got something else to say, he's gonna go in there. He's gonna type some words. So, so we have that. All right, let's go back to our list here. All right, so um, this is this ranking list here. We also have all tier three and awaken characters right so i'm just this is just all of them if, if you want to see them all just lined up um you know one after another uh we we have that and there's going to be a lot more to come to um it like so on that page there it's going to like i said it's going to it's going to give you ctp rotation all that stuff i i almost want to put it like on the same page here but i don't know i feel like that would just be kind of overcrowded so so this way Right, and over here you're going to be able to click on their names too. So like, it's already linked to Moonstone on this page. So no matter what page you're on, you'll be able to still click on the character. We're like, where is Luke Cage? So here are all Waken characters. Where is Luke Cage? Luke Cage's got to be yeah. Okay, so we got Moonstone and Luke Cage there. So we're basically going to go down the list and we're going to fill in every one. It's good. Like I said, it's a work in progress. All right, now Shadowland. So. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Sneaky Bandit coming at you, just doing his thing. Yo, guys, we got some, we got some things to do. We got some chests to pop over here. Yes, sir. Gold chest. That's that special gold chest. We gotta get going on it. We got 30. We got 30 pop lock and droppings over here. 20 CCF. Can't shake a stick at that. Not too shabby. Another 20. Another 30 TCP. I like it. I'll take it. But we're looking for them cod, baby. We're looking for them cod. Uniform XP chips, you can't shake a stack at that either. No, sir. 
Come on, we got I me mean, four star. Okay, okay, but you know, hey, listen, listen, I got a six out of here before, and I'm looking for that one again. Come on, where's the infamous six? We got a fiver. I'll take a fiver. Another one. Oh, what do we need? Six of those to make a six? We need six fives to make a six. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I, hey, listen. Listen. I'll take it. A, a, a few five star cards. Not too bad. It's all good in the hood. All good in my book. Oh, we got another fiver. Oh, listen. We're like we're like halfway to a six. Really, really a purple one. Come on. It's not even fully awakened. So I would have to like. Oh, come on. We got some fives though. We're listen. We're swimming in fives. One. Two, three, four, five fives, guys. And we got like two or three from over there. That's a six. That is a six. All right, guys. Sneaky bandit out. And everyone, it's good. Like I said, it's a work in progress. All right. Now, Shadowland. So, so Noc Tway, um, he thought it was a good idea to... I actually have a separate page for mine because I've been working on mine. But, um, so... Actually, this needs to get changed here. So the the Chris Davies one, the one that I showed in the in the Shadowland video, um, the one the Shadowland guy video that I, that I just put out yesterday, um, he actually had no pierce. He didn't have any pierce on cards because if you look, so this was done. Yeah, this was done like like a few months back. This was actually like right when crafting started. It was like right around the symbiote um, update. So yeah, this this was this was a little while back. I thought I thought it was more recent than than it actually was. But it only gives, it only gives more reason for you to actually even push higher, right? Um, character uniforms, new characters that that are added that that can you know just push that at the additional level. So yeah, you'll see like like I noticed like Luke Cage and Iron Fist on here they cleared like a lower level Carnage too, um, because I think he did not have Carnage's uh, uniform at that time, um, and then so we're gonna have his list. His list had actually had zero zero Pierce, but he he has he has a pretty nice account. Regardless of the Pierce, he had he had like he had a really nice account. Scored very high in ABX and um he had he had stacked characters, you know, this and that. So um it, it's not your average account. And then um uh, over here, so what the idea was have Chris Chris Davies list with nine percent Pierce is what we thought he had, and then another list, knock Tways with 2% pierce and then my list over here with 25% pierce. So depending on where you are, right? Depending on where your account is, you have a list to go off of. Like whatever your, your account is closer to, if your account's closer to um, like Chris Davies. So maybe if you have like a little bit of, I don't know, maybe if you have like 4% pierce but your account's not super stacked, you might be closer to like where Chris Davies was at that time. Um, and then if you have like no pierce or if you have, you know, 2%, hopefully, Everybody has at least two percent pierce by now, or, or you're getting there, and you know you can you can base you know your clears off 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 something over here, and then you, if you have something right if you got a if you got a stacked account kind of like mine, you got a lot of pierce, you can you can try to mimic what I'm doing, and let me show you I know there's nothing there right there's nothing there but this is gonna be added because let me show you, let me pull up, okay here it is right here okay I'm I'm kind of proud of this so what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is I'm uh, going through. I actually put in all of the characters that I used um, because I was able to view it after the fact, right? The reset, you can see what all the tunes you used on the previous previous uh, uh, week. So the, some of them might change, right? Because the floor can change as well. You won't have the same floor on, on certain floors, right? I might not have the same floor nine, so I might have to use a different character. Uh, so I may go in and change it um, and I also have right the stage and then I have the the CTP or obelisk now I took all the CTPs that I had on any character that wasn't awakened or tier 3 there's a few there's a few like like Yelena I still have a rage on uh, I think uh, Gwenpool I have a judgment on um, so there, there's some here and there but for the most part I took them all off and I have obelisks on all these all these characters so this way you can see what I'm actually using if, if and this is the thing some characters um, you need to have an in, you need to have invincibility on you know as an obelisk or CTP. Why you would put like I don't know uh, an authority or a regen on somebody like Sin or like Kingpin um, or like 
don't know some characters don't necessarily need it like the ones that i have like the america chavez she's got a she's got a lot of iframes i think she has um she might have native pr protection but at least she has she has some iframes but there's a lot of characters a lot of older characters a lot of like you know trash tier characters that have that they don't have any crowd control they have like like little to no iframes and they have zero protection they have no immunity no immunity no invincibility so you need like an invincibility obelisk on them otherwise you're just toast otherwise you're toast um you know especially you know if it's a certain stage so what i think i'm gonna do is and and then you know you have others that do have a little bit of crowd control they have some iframes they have a little bit of protection that you can actually get away with playing them with a proc right just you know, having them just do more damage because they're they're protecting themselves. Um, otherwise, like like Craven, Craven's actually pretty good for Shadowland. He's got he's got some iframes. He's got some crowd control. He's not like a good character, but he can he can get some Shadowland done for you, um, just because of that. All right, especially like if you have Pierce. I think I used him. Um, yeah, but I you know I do actually do have an invincibility invincibility obelisk, obelisk on him, but I could take that off. I I'm, I could certainly take that off, and I'm gonna try to um really dial in like the characters that i feel like you know um can you put a proc on or, or you know they need invincibility um and then like make a list of all the characters that like you need invincibility on them in my opinion um or you know a list of the characters that you know i'm pretty sure you can get away with just putting a proc on them and then okay so we have and then we okay so so row or column d is a CTP or, or obelisk, and then row E over here. Um, okay, what's going on there? All right, yeah, get that out of the way. Okay, and then row E. This is like I'm gonna I'm gonna put in like a rotation or just some things to note with the rotation. Some things that like like Hawkling. Basically, the only thing he has he has a stun at the end of four. I think it's a, he has a short iframe on four as well. So. Knowing that, just even that little bit of information, um, is honestly knowing if knowing that was a, it was allowing me to be able to actually clear that stage. Um, so I'm gonna tell you the things that I found that I feel like were like the difference maker, the things that allowed me to actually get that done. Um, let's see. So like, is that Cal using? No, that was supposed to be. Okay, actually, okay, th th this this I mixed up. This is actually supposed to be on Modox, right here. I'm gonna have to fix that. I just, I, I guess, I just got mixed up with the with the line. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to be to um to how do you pronounce his name? Calculus, calculus. It's calculus. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna call him calculus. So calculus. That's not supposed to be on calculus. That, that threw me off for a second. That's supposed to be on Modox. And okay, so Modox, for instance, using a Spider-Man uniform. He's got some webbing on one. He's got like he's got an iframe on five. He's got um, he's got an iframe on three, and he's got a short iframe on two. So you basically just want to chain all those skills. So point is, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that in all the characters that like you would know this on, or, or just basically you know may, maybe like all the characters. What allowed me to clear that floor, knowing what about the rotation? Some of them I could just do it on autoplay, but those characters are so bad where you you just you you really can't. For most of them, anyways, you just really can't. Um, so uh, I think this is going to be really, really helpful to uh, you know you guys out there. And I also have like a section over here that is just for like, just for like notes, other notes here about the list in general. Um, and also, so yeah, you're going to see on here, you're going to see um, CTP guy. You can see, you can look forward to that CTP guy. Just you know, just as soon as I get around to actually making that list. So CTP guide. Um, also, so when I was going through this and I was looking at the obelisk that I had on all these characters, I noticed I have so many, I have so many obelisks in my inventory and I think I just have too many and going through them, sifting through them and, and figuring out who to put, who to, who to put which one on what character can be a bit of a headache. So what I think I'm going to do is I might make a list, right? Like I, like I just said about the invincibility, the, the procs, but also, um, like fire damage right if you get a lot of fire damage ones or lightning or cold make a list of all the characters that actually do fire damage do lightning do cold so this way in your head you can you know faster and easier um more easily actually figure out who to actually put those on and maybe you just have so many where you could just 
you, I have so many locked. It's, it's actually ridiculous. So this way I can I can use those to roll one of my mighties or, or just roll a different CTP or just get them out of your inventory in general. So I think that's basically it, guys. Um, now I'm going to share. Oh, and there's also Mephisto ranking on here as well. So this is my Mephisto ranking guide. Uh, this one's not quite complete. There's still a few characters I got to I got to put in here. Uh, there, there's quite a few. I'm going to try to actually do every single character, rank them, you know, just top down. Because I think I did like a, I did like a top 10 or a top 11, um, and I added a few more on here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to actually adding the rest of the characters. And we're going to have to do Null. I, I got I to gotta get back into Null. I'm going to start playing Null again. This way I can properly place all the new characters now. Because uh, there's been quite a few that have come to the game since I actually... Since I actually like really played null, other other than just doing testing and doing quick and dirty, um, but let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think, and let me know if there are any particular lists that you actually want to see me make. So I'm gonna end it there. So guys, I got some more stuff, so you better stay tuned. You stay breezy, but most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace.